thank you, Jody, uh, again, for putting this together. And thank you for my uh, brothers uh, here in Texas who are standing strong for the Texas border and what needs to be happening here in the federal government. I want to thank you also for being here because this is a topic that the media has just gotten bored with, unfortunately, and you have to wonder why. Uh, is it because the border is more secure? No. Is it because there's less fentanyl deaths every year? No. Is it because there's less people coming into our country? In spite of the Biden administration's attempt to play shell games with the numbers, the fact is there's more people crossing our country illegally right now than there ever has been. Um, we've got to make sure that we stop what's going on. You know, many people have seen this movie, The Sound of Freedom, this week. And what is going on is tragic. It was just mentioned the tens of thousands of kids that this administration has lost track of. It's unconscionable that we continue to let this happen and that the Biden administration continues to partner with cartels as opposed to partnering with communities across our country. We've got to continue to stop and to push back and to make sure this doesn't happen. This is also a national security issue. You know, many of us have been able to grow up in a wonderfully free country that we could assume was secure. But what we see happening in a kind of geopolitical s scale right now, we have a northern country that's headed towards socialism, and we have a country to the south of us that's becoming a narco state. And the cartels are not only working with China to set up shop across the border, they're infiltrating our country, and they're setting up shop in many communities across our country. Indeed, right now, every single day, there's military-aged Chinese nationals crossing our border. That's something that concern, should concern everyone. We have, uh, of course, the fentanyl that's coming across that's killing uh, thousands and thousands of people. And then we continue to have the um, human trafficking that's going on and the tens of thousands of children that would lo were lost. I would say that this administration is doing nothing about it, but that would be actually be too generous. Doing nothing would have been better than what they're doing. All they had to do when they came into office was to do nothing. We had a border that was more secure than it ever had been, and this administration has come in and worked systemically to dis dismantle any sort of sense of border security we have going on. And then Mayorkas has the audacity to come again before Congress and lie under oath again, saying that we have operational control of the border. If we have operational control of the border, then Hunter Biden is the pope. This is unbelievable. This is not happening. It should not be happening. And when it comes to continuing to fund this, sometimes conservatives in the past, we've looked at funding and we thought, you know, if we can get the levels down to some sort of sensible spending, then, you know, that's a, that's a good day. We have got to stop funding evil. And we will continue to push back against any sort of bill legislation that continues to send money to this administration to do evil things, to dismantle our security, and to make sure that the uh, cartels are taken care of. We will work to do that. And we stand with our partners in Texas, thank the governor for standing strong, and continue to encourage him and all of Texas to do what we can. It, it's we're spending billions of dollars from our state, but it's also our local sheriffs who are going down to the border, our local law enforcement who are going down to the border and being deployed and taking time away from our families to do the job that our federal government should be doing. Texans aren't afraid to stand up and do it, but this is the federal government's responsibility, and we will, as Texans, continue to push back. And then from here in Washington, we'll continue to make sure that we pass out of this House legislation that will secure our border and stop funding the evil practices that we see going on in this administration. Rep. Keith Sell.